how many. What I'm yeah, yeah. There we go. Good evening and welcome to the May 2nd school board meeting. Let's start with the pledge. You know what? I don't think Jerry's here. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And we'll begin with our public input statement read by our vice chair. The first Public input session is a 21 minute session with each person having no longer than three minutes in which to make a statement, but a second public input session may be held at the end of the meeting if allowed by the board chair. Each speaker will give his or her name, address and reason for speaking. Public input is designated for district residents, but the board chair may grant non residents the opportunity to address the board. Statements concerning subject matter that falls under the law regarding executive sessions, for example, matters involving personnel, cannot be made during public input. We as a community pledge to treat each other as we wish to be treated. We pledge to seek understanding when there may be disagreement. Regardless of outcomes or opinions, we pledge to move forward with respect. This is a time for comments and or questions for the board, but please be aware that questions may not be able to be answered at this meeting. Thank you. Public input. None at this time. Uh, minutes of April 11th. Has everyone had a chance to read? So apologies. Apparently you didn't have access. So now I just resent them. Can we give a few minutes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Apologies. Which? The 11th. The 11th? Yes. The most recent email. Yeah. And it's, yeah. there's some um, formal legal language in there. So make sure you take a peek at it. Page four at the bottom, approval of 24-25 school calendar. There's a space before the period after the word presented in the second line. All right, hold on. Oh, yeah, presented. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm speed reading. Right. Four. Four seconded. Gotcha. Thank you. For the final draft, do you want it to say insert the financing note in school document here? No, we'll take that out because we have that there. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Someone's talking out there. Thank you. Motion to approve the minutes. All right. Thank you. We have a second. Have it has it there yet? Not, not quite there yet. <laughs> second as amended. Yep. Is that you, Lauren? Yep. Okay, sorry. Uh, all in favor of accepting the minutes? All right. Uh, next on the agenda is Lebanon Elementary School, Leachfield. Okay. Yeah. All okay. right. So Jen, in the um, packet of your agenda, sent that out the proposal, and I'm just this is the hard copy of the the quote itself. And Kevin is available to line if we need to speak with him. So this the intent of of this meeting of this part of the meeting is to just have a. a summary a quick summary of the information we're going to invite kevin to come in at a later meeting to just talk through it but we wanted to make sure you had the quote so this is from civil consultants and if we were to do this work that is if um it's going to be about one hundred twenty-five thousand nine hundred. um currently we are um pumping that leach field every week and it's $475, $475 per week. So that said, if we do nothing, 
um, for the for like 12 months, it would be twenty four thousand six hundred fifty dollars to um, keep, to keep it pumped. To keep it pumped. Wow. Um, the when civil consultants got in to look more closely as they were giving going through the quoting process, they realized that the kitchen is hooked up to that that leach field and is a staff bathroom. So it's a little more involved as far as when it first happened, we just thought it was going to be a few bathrooms and we would have, you know, access to other spaces. But really the kitchen um, is more of a significant layer of um, concern for that. So um, this goes to a bigger discussion which we started having with the budget process. Um, our long range goals for Lebanon Elementary. So that's why we're inviting Kevin to come in at our next meeting and, and talk through this piece. You know, is there, you know, what do we want to do knowing that we have, you know, we're going to commission a study um, of all of our facilities um, coming up in the next several months. And, you know, we just want to make a really good decision for our taxpayers, our students, our staff in that building. So. Um, any initial questions about just the document? I'm sorry, what did you say? It is per pump? That went per week. Pump? Per week, yeah. It's $475. And is it reasonable to think you might have to do it more often than that at some point? Or we'll we're going to get a good, yeah, yeah, we'll have a better yeah. handle would, next week. Yeah, um, yes. yes. Right, but it yes. looks, currently it's looking like once a week has been sufficient, mm -hmm. and then we're going into the summer months where it will be less mm -hmm. of an issue just because the kitchen won't be in use right. or that kind of thing. Right. Um, it's really the, it's really just school year use that we are like, okay, what do we need to do? Mm -hmm. um, we have some, that's the thing about this is there are, um, because we're still trying to figure out what the next step with the, with the building, we do have some options of things. There's this piece of it, like, which is, you know, really just um, band-aiding it completely by just pumping it out once a week. Or there's the full um, replacement of the, the leach field and the tank, which is the 125.9. And then Kevin will talk to you about it, but there's an option also of just replacing the leach field. The tank currently does not appear to be impacted, but it's not a new tank. So there is like, there's three options that we can look at. Um, so. Would, would we be able to consider because we're going through the process of evaluating our facilities to continue is is continuing pumping a possibility for i mean if without dollars that'd be five years until you, you right, right. The, uh, so we would have to we would have to get more information i think short term we were we were looking at it as is this our year of a band-aid doing the pump you know every every week could it go longer maybe josh yeah you know i think the other part that's um difficult with it though is that we are not utilizing the two bathrooms that are the common bathrooms that are on the quote new wing which is what 19 you know 52 but the new wing um so they are down some bathrooms it's it's doable like there's that because they use a different leach field yes okay. yeah yeah. So, um, yeah, that's it. Originally, we, um, with some figuring things out, they didn't, uh, Kevin didn't originally recognize that the kitchen and the staff bathroom were on this leach field that's um, struggling that way. So that's where the, that's where we're needing to pump it out because we're using the water and it's mostly gray water from the kitchen, you know, but still. So we, we, if we did it now, where would we get money from that money from content your the what you call it fund there? <laughs> what you call it? Contingency. Contingency. Fund? Yeah. We would look at we would you know, we would look at this going into the coming school year. We, we wouldn't do it, you know, this in the current fiscal year. But um yeah, and then you look for savings wherever you can to make it work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because the emergency things that happen. How long have we been doing this? The pumping? Oh, um, yeah, yeah, a couple, Just a couple months. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. I can't even. So, in the budget we just approved, what relative to this, what was in there? We didn't have any quotes from civil consultants at that point in time. Yeah. What was the four hundred seventy-five? No. So this all happened at the very right. tail end right. of the budget. So, like, this was not. I think it might have even happened right at the end of our yes. approvals. Yep. Um, so it hasn't even been two months, honestly. Okay. When I think about it. So, 
you know, it's, it's like the gifts that keep on giving. Other yeah. questions? Sir? Uh, Budget update? Okay, just a few quick updates. Um, we've invited the select boards from all three towns uh, to our May 16th day. We have a board meeting, but we invited them to come over at 6 p.m., so from 6 to 6.45, just to talk about the district budget and some of our long-range kind of um, Long range and short term goals, but also some of our challenges, for example, Lebanon elementary, right? Just to kind of get them in and go through that process. Last year was the 1st time that we met with all 3 at the same time and it was very productive. So we're um, looking forward to that meeting again. Um, so again, that'll be May 16th at 6 PM here at the probably in the library, just because we try to. Mm -hmm. have everybody sitting around yeah. the table. Um, the annual report was sent to the um, the printer right before we had April break. And um, that will be going out to all community members very shortly. They just had to prove a couple pieces and then they're going to start printing and sending that out. Um, if that doesn't go out before you know, we try to make sure our select boards have that information a few nights ahead of our meeting. So we will send, we can just send it electronically to them if we need to. So they'll have that. Um, over the next two weeks, just really quickly, we're um, be able to get PO meetings for each for North Berwick, Lebanon, and Berwick. Uh, so we're going to go through the budget um, at those meetings and as well as talk about the budget hearing and about the budget vote. Um, just to kind of set that up because we will be out of school um, for the budget vote. So we just want to make sure that it's on the radar for for, for voting day. Um, so those are our updates on the budget. Okay. All right. Nomination of probationary teachers. Okay. So um, Jen sent with sent you a list of probationary teachers that were approved last year that are able to move to um, status two, so their second year of probationary status. Um, we, Similar to the administrators, we don't read off the names you have the list, so we would just need a motion um, to approve. I will say that their evaluations have been, you know, their observations and evaluations have been completed. Um, they're in good standing, and that's why we're recommending a second year at this time. Do we have a do we have to do it separately for each list or yeah yeah for each list yep. yeah list of the whole not individual not under the sorry I make a motion to approve the um level or the year two probationary teachers second all in favor discussion before we vote um can you just overview the the overall process like the when they their first year teaching to get in tenured status like how how does that work here in Maine. So they start their first year and then they go into their second year. And after their second year, they move on to continue in contract. And that's when they are considered tenured, so to speak. So that's when, um, you know, they're vested in the, the whole system of, you know, the evaluation system, as well as the main system, the Department of Ed system. So, so uh, probationary one to two would be teachers who are completing the second year and going probationary into one to two is going into their second, second year. year. Yeah, probationary so, one. Oh, then two. Okay, so yeah, they're going into this, and so they've complete. Essentially, they are in the process yeah. of completing yes. their first year. Yep. Yep. Okay. We need to notify them now. Yeah. That. So that's why we're moving it instead of June. We have to do it now. Yeah. I have a question. Sure. I have a couple of teachers now, one on each list where their positions may be possibly not yes. in the budget. Mm -hmm. How do we do this? Not in the budget. In what regard? So next year. Okay. For, in what regard? Because of the RIF program. Yeah. Oh, yes. So that's a good question. So there are, if you look at the list, there are teachers on the probationary list that may be RIFT based on our budget process that we've gone through. We still need to they're in good standing so we are saying that they are in good standing so that if as part of the RIF, they are going to be able to get a position of a like position if something opens in the district so you're approving them because they're in good standing so that allows us to officially offer them something that comes up in their certification range in the district and though that they're listed for that position that can still change with the revenue. yes and they so, are aware right. they are aware 
of being rift and they are aware that they're coming up this evening for um approval because they're in good standing okay just it's very we'll, complicated there'll be another yeah. um, meeting where you guys are actually going to uh approve the rifts that need to be okay. made yeah. but we want them to know that they are in good standing now so, very good yeah. and then and okay. just in the Questions. data that i see there right it's all it's all yes we recommended so do we have any staff members who are not on this list who are completing their first year and who are not being recommended and they're just not included on this list is that correct. how i see it correct okay thank you okay so we had the motion and it was seconded any further discussion all in favor aye okay. and then you have the list of probationary two to continue in contract so these are the ones that are going on. Oh, I thought that's one we I just said did to you first. And we did. Okay, so we'll do <laughs> make a motion for yeah. <laughs> I think I thought you did. one. You know what? I thought I heard that. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. So probationary one to two. I'll that's make a motion. I oh. thought that's what we just voted on. Oh. No, I said two. No, she said two. I thought we were two. Two. I thought we were doing two. Well, do we have questions? Okay. I thought to make sure they're back up. I think it's the same question. Okay. Okay. So, clear. Okay. so we're good with two. Then we're just I'll second probationary one. Uh, okay. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Thank you. All right. Who made that one? Was it Lauren? Lauren. Yeah. Yeah. Lauren did Lauren it again. Did okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next on the agenda is the nomination of special education director. Okay. So Melissa Adams. In our second row um, is being nominated this evening for our director of special education. Um, so we advertised the position we um, on several different sites, and then we held interviews. The first round of interviews was with um, uh, K-12 staff, and that was a pretty big group of, of um, staff members that interviewed that. And then from there, um, we looked at um, moving on to the second round, which was made up of administrators and Lauren said, and on that, thank you for coming. I know that that was a very hard time for everybody, but I appreciate that. Um, and that interview to, uh, occurred. We did the, the vetting of the references. Um, Melissa has been in our district for this past year as an IEP coordinator, so she's familiar with our district. Um, and so we are bringing her forward for nomination this evening. I make a motion to nominate her for special education director. I'll second. All in discussion. Discussion. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Um, so, with the administrators, hi Melissa, welcome. Thank you so much <laughs> for being here. It's kind of an awkward thing, but I, you know, do my my responsibilities. Um, when it comes to administrator certification, right? So, um, I, I assume the job job description was created. Um, there is a job description. I didn't. I don't remember seeing it online. I, it wasn't presented to me, so I didn't search for it in true. I didn't search for it, but if it was presented to me, then I must have missed it. That was mine. Okay. So, um, and then it says the clearly stated criteria for the position. I haven't read that criteria for the positions either. I would like that opportunity to do so. Um, and then the, the interview has to be related to those two things. And mm -hmm. and I, I assume that it was. I certainly hope that it was. Um, so, but I, I still, even as a follow up, I'd still love to see those two documents as far as, as that is concerned. Um, I'm and then the other thing, just in reviewing your application, um, nice application. You have a lot of experience in education, a long time. Um, my my only reservation, and I will publicly state my reservation, is that you 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 focus a lot on trauma informed um, training that you've received. And I didn't read very much about academics. And academics are, in my opinion, the number one concern in the state of Maine and our district. Um, and so, I need to say that loud and clear like our we are in deep trouble in academics in the state of maine we are currently ranked 51st out of 51 states in the united states 40 years ago we were ranked number one so and i've been in the education career for for 20 years so you know it's probably, we, we we have to eventually have this discussion i think it's important that you as you're coming on that that you you hear that and it is part of our discussion in that i didn't i didn't read it and i don't know if any of the interview questions were about i could uh, i wanted to uh, let you uh, Great. i can't specifically speak on things no nope, i know um but i was very pleasantly surprised by the whole interview experience i had sat on a previous um administrator role before and i was expecting the same list of questions and i started reading them i was like oh my god i 
<laughs> good luck answering these. Um, and especially the educational ones and classroom settings and everything. I was blown away by her responses, her situations, um, examples she's used in this district just within the last year that she's been here, as well as in her past. Um, I think she, my personal opinion is she 100% hit like nail those that's not I know she does have a trauma background and we did talk about that which um does add actually a wonderful piece to this position um but she excelled in sharing classroom and um, academic experiences and how she was able to um improve assist help adapt um in different situations within the classroom setting fantastic I thank you for attending that interview and being able to share that thank you we have to vote now so we have the motion we have the second Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. Welcome, Melissa. Welcome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Welcome, Ms. Thomas. Yeah. Very, very excited. Obviously, I come from um, a background of social work and then moving into education. I'm a fourth generation main teacher. And so when you talk about academics, like I, I remember my grandmother's one room schoolhouse pictures. And so I, I understand and, and appreciate the need for academic um, being a huge and direct focus of the work we do. Um, it has been an absolute pleasure working with the staff of SAD 60, being in the classrooms, getting to know the students this year. I'm very excited to continue supporting and collaborating moving forward. Excellent. Thank you. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Welcome. Thank you. Employment. Yeah. So the next couple of meetings, we typically see an inf you know, an increase in um, movement or resignations, retirements, and and tonight kind of starts that process. So we have Rosanna Pass, who is Nova High School Spanish teacher. The R is there we go. There's a typo. Um, she's asking for a leave of absence. We typically um, see these in March is um, when we bring these forward. However, there are some extenuating circumstances, so we said we would bring this forward this evening. So she's asking for a one-year leave of absence starting in September. So, I motion to approve that. Second? Second. All set to vote. All in favor? And then we have Allison George, who um, is, a, this is for the new hires. So Allison is um, applied for the multiple pathways science teacher, which we had um, that vacancy, somebody left midway through this year. So this is that position starting in September. Um, so Allison is currently um, working I'm trying to get that. She's done some work at Girl Scouts of Maine, running some camps, as well as Ready, Set, Go Nature Center, so an outdoor nature classroom, um, an outdoor school. So she um, has a lot of really good ideas and experience um, with the science and, and those pieces. She's getting her um, master's degree and um, she just is ready. She's she's had the, the um, whole team meeting at the school level. She met with me earlier this week. Um, references were very were stellar. Um, so just some really good ideas and energy, and really understands multiple pathways and um, you know the opportunities that we have for our students for that program. So, so move. Second. I'll second. second. All in favor. Okay. All right. And this is where we have a couple of resignations. We have Stephanie Nimi from Noble Middle School, grade six, and that's um, social studies. And these have to be done individually. So move. Okay. Second. Second. All in favor? And then Amanda Liebau, um, Noble Middle School science teacher. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Mm -hmm. And then Karina Chapman, Noble Middle School, and she's been, I will say, Karina's been there for um, over 20 years, mm -hmm. and she's relocating. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. Make the motion with regrets. Motion. Second. All in favor? And Lear Billing from Lebanon um, Schools, and she's the speech and language therapist, pathologist. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Okay. Julia Carr, Hussey School, Kindergarten. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? 
Okay, and the last one we have this evening is retirement. Mary Fitzgerald. Um, Mary um, has been in our district 34 years. She is currently the assistant, one of the assistant special education directors. She started working with Sue. She was my first the very beginning. Yep, yep. <laughs> so um, teacher all the way up through. So, um, and she submitted her retirement letter. We knew it was coming, but she just uh, submitted that a couple, like right during break. So, yeah. And so moved with regret. And thanks. Okay. Thank her for her years in the district. For the teachers that are leaving, like, can do we know what their reason is? Some of them are. I when I, when when they write it, I can I say it, but if right. not, I try not. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, exit interviews. That's what I yes. Okay. That's what I was okay. Yes. So for everyone, yes. or just when requested, or um, a combination. Yes. So yes, most often yes. Okay. And who are those? Just with you guys, or who's? Um, it can be whomever they. Sometimes it's with the like if it's a department, they'll sit with the department director, or they'll sit with us, or the principal if they. Yeah. Thank you. Celebrations. Okay, so just if we have a couple that will have some links in yeah. the um, minutes just because some of them are online. So we have, uh, I'll start with Noble High School history teacher Meg Fox was recently highlighted as part of the 20 outstanding women of 2024. So not only does Meg teach here in the district, but she also works with three of our youth in the Ryan home and provides guidance and support as they navigate, you know, all the challenges and transitions that life mm -hmm. has and high school has. And mm -hmm. um, so we congratulate Meg on that. Um, so again, that will be a link yeah. in the in yeah. minutes. So That's you can see thing. that yeah. if you haven't been able to watch that yet. Um, uh, another celebration is that Noble Middle School was recently the subject of a Maine Department of Education statewide newsletter, which highlight was highlighting our bar program at the middle school. We run a pretty robust bar program here and at the high at the middle school and the high school. Um, students were interviewed, teachers were interviewed, um, principals from other districts were down visiting, and so that they were interviewed as part of that. So we will have that as well um, online, so you can see in the minutes, so you can see that link. That's great. Um, very, very recently, we've had three eighth grade students participate in the National History Day competition at Orono, in Orono, and I'm just going to read their first names because I I didn't triple check the, the safety and, you know, the last name. Right. Parental. So <laughs> Noah, Mila, and Olivia represented Noble High School really noble well. Um, Mila focused her exhibition on Nellie Bly. And Noah placed second in his division for his paper on Fitz Haber. And um, Olivia earned first place for her exhibition on World War II scrap drives. And Olivia and Noah will move to the championship at the University of Maryland in June. Oh, oh, that's that's exciting. This is our second that's year, great. second year sending students wow. to that finals. That's great. Um, Tomorrow, our Noble High School Tech Challenge Robotics team will present their robot at the shipyard. Nice. So that's that's awesome. exciting. Yep. And then just two dates to, to make sure that I have on the radar for you. Um, the York County Special Olympics, which is always such an incredible day. Um, that is next Friday. Yep. Rain date of yep. the 17th if it's raining. But, but we're not going to have rain. We're going to have rain. <laughs> we always have okay. rain. We've got it every time. We're, we're in not, trouble. But, we're okay. not, no. um, but that's a wonderful Say day. Say the date again. Up. Um, May Friday the 10th. Yeah. May 10th. And the 17th is the rain date. Is the rain date, yeah. Yep. Yeah. What time is that third at? It's all day. Uh, all day. It starts at it? um it starts at nine and um runs it runs usually till about one o'clock. Yeah. Um feel free to come. It is a it's a great day. The kids have a great time and our staff does a great job yeah. job really mm -hmm. laying it up. And there's um over five hundred athletes that come awesome. from so all around the county. county. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the really awesome thing is that at our at all of our levels, but mm -hmm. at our elementary schools, they make huge signs for, oh, yeah. for our so athletes. Much better. <clears throat> You know, clap them out and clap them back in, and yes. it's just a very, very, very great day. It's a very good, nice community day, um, and that's taken a year of planning. Every, yeah, you know that takes a year. <clears throat> so, um, and then the next one is our adult education graduation, and that has been set for May thirtieth. They start their photos at five thirty, um, but the ceremony itself begins at six o'clock. 
Lots to celebrate. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, and next is public okay. input. I had one more celebration. No, sorry. Um, next week is Teacher Appreciation Week. So anyone, especially watching the recording, love on your teachers next week. Awesome. Thank you. Public input. Okay. Adjournment. A motion to adjourn. Second. <laughs> All in favor. Wow. That's a good wow. idea. That's a wow. Two minutes. That was yeah. a wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Actually, plenty of time. I'm just going to say that. <laughs>